your two worst enemies. Just as self-discipline is the key to success, the lack of self-discipline is the major cause of failure, frustration, underachievement, and unhappiness in life. It causes us to make excuses and sell ourselves short. Perhaps the two biggest enemies of success, happiness, and personal fulfillment are first, the path of least resistance, and second, the expediency factor. The path of least resistance is what causes people to take the easy way in almost every situation. They seek shortcuts to everything. They arrive at work at the last minute and leave at the first opportunity. They look for get-rich-quick schemes and easy money. Over time, they develop the habit of always seeking an easier, faster way to get the things they want, rather than doing what is hard but necessary to achieve real success. The expediency factor, which is an extension of the law of least resistance, is even worse when leading people to failure and underachievement. This principle says, People invariably seek the fastest and easiest way to get the things they want right now, with little or no concern for the long-term consequences of their behaviors. In other words, most people do what is expedient, what is fun and easy, rather than what is necessary for success. Every day, and every minute of every day, there's a battle going on inside of you between doing what is right, hard, and necessary, like the angel on one shoulder, or doing what is fun, easy, and of little or no value, like the devil on your other shoulder. Every minute of every day you must fight and win this battle with the expediency factor and resist the pull of the path of least resistance if you truly desire to become everything you are capable of becoming. Take control of yourself. Another definition of self-discipline is self-mastery. Success is only possible when you can master your own emotions, appetites, and inclinations. People who lack the ability to master their appetites become weak and dissolute, as well as unreliable in other things as well. Self-discipline can also be defined as self-control. Your ability to control yourself and your actions, control what you say and do, and ensure that your behaviors are consistent with your long-term goals and objectives is the mark of the superior person. Discipline has been defined as self-denial. This requires that you deny yourself the easy pleasures, the temptations that lead so many people astray, and instead discipline yourself to do only those things that you know are right for the long term and appropriate for the moment. Self-discipline requires delayed gratification, the ability to put off satisfaction in the short term in order to enjoy greater rewards in the long term. Think long term. Sociologist Dr. Edward Banfield of Harvard University conducted a 50-year study into the reasons for upward socioeconomic mobility in America. He concluded that the most important single attribute of people who achieved great success in life was long-time perspective. Banfield defined time perspective as the amount of time an individual takes into consideration when determining his present actions. In other words, the most successful people are long-term thinkers. They look into the future as far as they can to determine the kind of people they want to become and the goals they want to achieve. They then come back to the present and determine the things that they will have to do or not do to achieve their desired futures. This practice of long-term thinking applies to work, career, marriage, relationships, money, and personal conduct. Successful people make sure that everything they do in the short term is consistent with where they want to end up in the long term. They practice self-discipline at all times. Perhaps the most important word in long-term thinking is sacrifice. Superior people have the ability throughout their lives to make sacrifices in the short term, both large and small, so as to assure greater results and rewards in the long term. You see this willingness to sacrifice in people who spend many hours and even years preparing, studying, and upgrading their skills to make themselves more valuable so that they can have a better life in the future, rather than spending most of their time socializing and having fun in the present. Longfellow once wrote, Those heights by great men, won and kept, were not achieved by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. Your ability to think, plan, and work hard in the short term and to discipline yourself to do what is right and necessary 
before you do what is fun and easy is the key to creating a wonderful life for yourself. Your ability to think long term is a developed skill. As you get better at it, you become more able to predict with increasing accuracy what is likely to happen to you in the future as the result of your actions in the present. This is a quality of the superior thinker. Short-term gain can cause long-term pain. There are two laws that you fall victim to when you fail to practice self-discipline. The first is called the Law of Unintended Consequences. This law states that the unintended consequences of an action can be far worse than the intended consequences of that behavior because of a lack of long-term thinking. The second law is the Law of Perverse Consequences which says that a short-term action aimed at immediate gratification can lead to perverse or the opposite consequences from those at which it was aimed. For example, you might make an investment of time, money, or emotion with the desire and intent to be better off and happier as a result. But because you acted without carefully thinking or doing your homework, the consequences of your behavior turned out to be far worse than if you had done nothing at all. Every person has had this experience and usually more than once. The Common Denominator of Success Herbert Gray, a businessman, conducted a long-term study searching for what he called the Common Denominator of Success. After 11 years, he finally concluded that the Common Denominator of Success was that successful people make a habit of doing the things that unsuccessful people don't like to do. And what were these things? It turned out that the things that successful people don't like to do are the same things that failures don't like to do either. But successful people do them anyway because they know that this is the price they will have to pay if they want to enjoy greater success and rewards in the future. What Gray found was that successful people are more concerned with pleasing results, whereas failures were more concerned about pleasing methods. Successful, happy people were more concerned with the positive, long-term consequences of their behaviors whereas unsuccessful people were more concerned with personal enjoyment and immediate gratification. Motivational speaker Dennis Waitley has said that the top people were those who were more concerned with activities that were goal-achieving, whereas average people were more concerned with activities that were tension-relieving. Dinner before dessert. The simplest rule in the practice of self-discipline is to eat dinner before dessert. In a meal, there is a logical order of dishes, and dessert comes last. First, you eat the main courses and clean your plate. Only then do you have dessert. There's a cute but misleading bumper sticker that says, Life is short. Eat dessert first. Just think about what would happen if you came home from work and, instead of eating a healthy dinner, you ate a large piece of apple pie with ice cream. What kind of appetite for healthy, nutritious food would you have afterward? With all that sugar in your stomach, how would you feel? Would you feel re-energized and eager to do something productive? Or would you feel tired and sluggish and ready to write off the day as largely finished? You get the same result when you go for a drink or two after work and then come home and turn on the television. These are simply different forms of dessert that largely eliminate your ability to do anything useful for the rest of the evening. Perhaps the worst part of all is that whatever you do repeatedly soon becomes a habit and a habit once formed is hard to break. The habit of taking the easy way of doing what is fun and enjoyable or eating dessert before dinner becomes stronger and stronger and it leads inevitably to personal weakness, underachievement and failure.